So today we're going to measure up and try to install some Venetian blinds. So if you decide to install these yourself, not by uh, a company, you will need to provide your own measurements to the company and order the blinds to size. This usually means either making a decision on whether it's going to sit on the outside of the recess or the inside of the recess. Uh, recess and that means we need to measure this and provide accurate measurements to the company. When we look down, there's also other things to consider, whether the blind will drop down past these tiles on the inside and also whether it's going to um, hit the handle or not. So if there are no obstacles, it's just a case of measuring across and providing accurate measurements to the company and just measuring it across like so. For us, we've got the issue of tiles, so what we're going to need to do is actually measure it across this way. So, providing the measurement from the tile itself so it will drop down. And don't forget to measure the drop down, down height as well. So these are the blinds. It comes with an assembly kit instructions as usual. Just making sure we've got all the kit before we start. So it's just worth checking the fall and the position on these before we actually commit to hanging it. So I'm just going to do that now. I've been given a guide for a mile and a half as to where it should sit so that she doesn't want it protruding too far. So in this position, what we'll do in a minute is mark it, but we're just going to check the fall of the blind itself. Um, you see it's just touching the handle, but it does drop through, so a little bit further forward. And that should work. So once it's in position, we've already measured this as well. We're just going to put two marks where we want them to start and finish, and then we're going to put the blocks in. So the advice is to position the bracket six mil wider than the actual uh, blind itself. So we'll just mark this on here. Flip this on just to give us some insight into where it will be. So I'm just going to mark the position of this. Um, place it into position. And all we can do is put a pencil in. There's four holes. Mark those up with the pencil. So as usual, before drilling, it's always worth using some, a multi-detector to check for pipes and wires. There's unlikely to be anything in the trim itself, but we'll just double check. We will pick up the trim, you'll see it's all red. You see that there? And where we're actually drilling, it's green, and it's fine. You double check yourself. So we're just gonna drill some holes. We've actually used a small drill just to get it in close enough for the holes and the position. So bear that in mind when you're doing it yourselves. Uh, we'll do just some small raw plugs with some screws. Do those there and tap those in now. And just screw them in one by one. So we've got the first one in, you can see that there. Um, clips in this side. Next one on. So just mark up again with party goals, got all the position marks. Just fix these in position. Get them all clear all day, won't we? But put the first one in. Quite awkward, these brackets to be fair. Back off, next we need to just put these support brackets on to hold the front casing on. So this should just clip on. The first one, it's up to you which position you choose. Make sure it's not on the mechanism. We'll get this back on, clips are on, and then we'll put the front cover on. So slide this in. This one's in. Don't need to put more. Second one's in. Pull the clips down and clip those in. Should be able to clip that just like this, and then we should be able to slot that final panel over. Let's give that a go now on that side. And then clip these in. Number one, number two, and then we slide it across so it's covering the whole thing. That looks alright. So there you go, finished products.